So if you have a zero account um, that you maintain or that your accountant maintains on your behalf, we have a really good integration with zero. Um, essentially, all the buys and sells that are tracked in ShareSite and all the dividends and distributions and all the adjustments flow into the chart of accounts in zero to be reconciled over there. So it's, it's a really nice um, sort of connection between, you know, the broker feeding ShareSite information, ShareSite doing its calcs, and then on flowing that data into zero. So if we add a cash account, there's the zero account option here. And so in this portfolio, just to show you, I'll go back to the integrations tab. I'll go to zero settings. I have connected my portfolio to a, a sample uh, uh, zero account uh, called Warren Buffett. Um, and what I'll do here, I'm just going to click edit settings just to show you a couple of options that kind of live uh, beneath the bonnet regarding cash uh, uh, when you connect to zero. So uh, first and foremost, if, if you've seen this before, this is how you map all of the revenue and asset items to the chart of accounts in zero on the right hand side. But here at the bottom, there's some interesting options regarding cash. So once you've established um, your ShareSite account uh, and, and connected it to, to zero, uh, ShareSite can then read information back from zero. And so you can select a bank account to send your trades to. So you can debit or credit a bank account that you've set up in zero with your uh, share transactions. So these are all of my kind of my, my sample uh, accounts in here that I've set up in zero. And so in this case, we'll just leave it at, uh, at the everyday account. Um, and likewise, you can also opt to send dividends and distributions to any account that you've got set up in zero as well. So these don't have to be the same. You can select um, any account that you maintain uh, in zero. And, and zero, again, just for their part, um, you know, one of the, the hallmarks of, of what makes their software so good is that they, they support just about every uh, bank account uh, in the world, certainly all the mainstream accounts. There are a few um, uh, broker linked cash products and cash accounts that they don't have support for, um, but they are always adding to that. Um, so so they're, they're kind of their cash connectivity and, and their bank feed functionality is, is really, really good. Um, so you can, you can connect your share set account to, to bank accounts down here at the bottom of the Zero integrations page. But back to using Zero to track cash and share site. So again, I'll go back to overview, add cash account, and I'll select zero account. So again, we've, we've, we've already established the connection with zero and we've done our mapping. And so because our relationship with zero is, is, is genuinely kind of a two way street where we're sending them data and they're sending us back information, we can draw back the cash accounts that are maintained in zero and maintain those as a portfolio holding inside of, of ShareSite. And so, you can see here all of the accounts that, that I just showed you in the, the setup page. So let's just grab, you know, our investment CMA. It'll give it a name automatically. So that's from zero investment CMA. And we'll create a new cash account. Now, this page is, is relevant to this particular cash account. This will show you all of the historical transactions um, from top to bottom here. This is just a sample, uh, a non-real bank account. So there are no transactions in here. Um, <clears throat> but ShareSite will pull in the history of, of the, the account transactions from zero uh, back into ShareSite and it'll update itself every day, right? And you can, you can filter these transactions and run date ranges um, as well. And if you go back to the overview page and I scroll down, you can now see that I have a new section in my portfolio called cash accounts and I have my zero CMA. And I have my blue zero logo here, which indicates that the connection is, is active it's secure and it's, it's ongoing in terms of the data transfer. The other thing with these is you can add more than one. So if you go back to add cash accounts, <clears throat> zero, and we'll just pick uh, a different one here uh, and create same process. Again, this is just a dummy account. <clears throat> and then I go back to overview, scroll down, and I have my zero cash accounts here, which are actually just going to show me the balance of those cash accounts and the balance will be added to my portfolio totals and the value where we display that, but it will not be considered for performance reasons. And the simple thing there is, is, is we just don't have enough information on our end to you know, classify all those transactions that are coming back from zero as to whether they're you know, deposits or withdrawals or expenses or payments or interest payments or fees or what have you. There's, there's a lot of information that, that can come back. So um, uh, it's a good option if you have um, zero enabled on the other side and you have your bank accounts set up in there.
Thank you.